Hey everyone, here's a video about my uh, bedroom slash home theater, or my home theater in my bedroom that I have going on and that, that I've been putting together for a few years now. Uh, if you've watched one of my previous videos on it, you can immediately see that a lot has changed, uh, a lot of better equipment. So I'm going to jump right into it. So I have a light here because the GoPro I'm using doesn't pick up a whole ton of light. So my same PlayStation 3 that I'm using, I mostly uh, use this for music and movies, video games sometimes. So that goes out via HDMI to my kind of newly acquired receiver. This is a Pioneer Elite VSX53. This is a 9.2 channel receiver though I only use it uh, for 7 plus 2 or 7.2 and plus 2 dedicated stereo listening speakers I run as the B speakers <clears throat> these are also kinda new to me I've had these for a few months also these are my mains these are a pair of definitive technology BP 2004's they're bipolar speakers so what that means is that they have drivers on each side so inside of here they have a mid-range and a tweeter and they have the same on the other side and they also have a uh, powered subwoofer in them which means that they have an amplifier in them and a subwoofer so I have the same one on the other side and uh, my new, new to me center channel also is a Paradigm CC370 V4 um, this is really, really nice. I may <laughs> actually managed to find this at a thrift store for a somewhat decent price. I'm really, really happy with it. It's in perfect condition in terms of drivers and everything. It's a little scratched up, but, you know, oh well. So, <coughs> excuse me. I have uh, the same sub, Dayton Audio Sub 1500. I also have a new sub, well, new to me sub. It's an MNK MX125 MK2. So this is uh, another older sub, like most of my equipment. That's older, the center channel is older. So this is a dual 12-inch uh, sub, I think. So it has one driver here and another down there. And it's sealed, so I think it's called an isobaric design, I believe, if I'm uh, remembering correctly. So basically, they're both powered, and uh, when one fires, the other fires also, so it can move more, more air, I believe. I'm not totally sure, though. So uh, another sub I have is a Polk Audio PSW202. I don't use this for movies only when I have my dedicated stereo listening speaker set up. Also, my display is the same. It's the uh, LG 42 inch LED TV. <clears throat> Nothing too special. So I'll go ahead and turn around to the back of my room, which I'm still working on. So my side surrounds a pair of Yamo outdoor speakers. They have a tweeter and a mid-range. I also picked these up at a thrift store for a good price. So I have a pair of those. Which this one's actually moved right now because I've had a leak in my window since it actually rained today. So I had to move some stuff out of the way. But usually that's a bit further. And for my back surrounds, I have a pair of little low, pretty low-end KLH speakers also have a tweeter in a mid-range but still nothing special I don't have any good seating yet <coughs> yeah, excuse me I had something in my throat so I don't have any good seating yet I just have my one chair uh, I actually came up with a good idea today though what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy a low uh, profile bed frame I'm gonna go ahead and move the bed up here so hopefully it's no higher than a TV stand. I'll get a rack to put my receiver in. And I'll have seating back here since the bed will be forward. And the bed could even be like some kind of footrest or something to stretch your feet out on. But uh, yeah, that's uh, my setup right now. 
So if you have any comments or questions or anything, uh, put them down in the comments below and I'd uh, love to respond to you. So thanks guys. See ya.